It is 1915 and World War I is already in full swing. What's most concerning though is that the German troops have started using a type of warfare that can not only kill but torture people at the same time and that is poisonous gases. My name is Yoda, I'm a science and tech journalist and this is science and tech stories that they didn't teach you at school. Three different types of cocktails are used throughout the war and the devastating effects in human health are so gruesome for me to mention here. Enter Hertha Ayrton, one of the closest friends and supporters of Marie Curie who would be exchanging ideas and mentoring each other throughout their lives. While Marie was setting up her first mobile radiology units, having invented pretty much the entire field of radiology, Ayrton's research focused on a very peculiar thing. She was a physicist and electrical engineer that was fascinated by waves, oscillations, and had published research in some pretty abstract things, like the ripples that are left on the sand underwater. Ayrton designs this giant fly swatter-esque type of fan to disperse poisonous gas from the trenches and offers her invention for free to the war office. But they say no thank you and even ridicule her. It's only in September of 1915 that she gets asked to come back and demonstrate her invention, but once more, it is left in the drawers. In January of 1916, Ayrton and her assistant take matters into their own hands and demonstrate how effective this can be by spraying poisonous gas and then dispersing it with a fan and walking through the trench without a mask. The troops present agree that this fan can be over two times more effective at dispersing poisonous gas than their next best option. After a small run, the British Army office realizes how important this invention is and how easy it is to deploy to the front, that they offer over 100,000 units. And later in 1918, the US Army also arrives at the Western Front, they order another 50,000 units. 